What's up, Virgo? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. Please keep in mind that this may not resonate with you. Take only what feels right and leave the rest for someone else. Please hit that like button for me if you do enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. I have some channel messages to get through first and then we might pull cards after. The first channel message I have for you is don't worry, it'll be over before anyone notices. It'll be over before anyone notices or you'll be done with something before anyone notices. And I don't know what that pertains to, but that's the message I was getting. So don't worry, it'll be over or you'll be done before anyone notices. I also was getting another message that either way or no matter what, you're gonna be fine. And intuitively you already know this, so I'm just confirming what you intuitively already know. For some of you, there is like two different directions or two different situations and you're not sure which way to go or what's gonna happen. Spirit said no matter what, either way, you're gonna be fine. Another channel message I got for you was kind of a question, and again, I don't know what it pertains to, and the question was, how do you control those who don't believe? The answer to that is, you create fear. So in order to control those who don't believe, you create fear. That's just the message I was picking up. I, again, do not know what it pertains to, but that is what I was hearing. And then I also got a channel message that was, isn't it funny how valuable you become when you're no longer available or accessible? So some of you, you are becoming more valuable to a person, to an area, to an environment, to a job, to yourself even, because you're no longer available or accessible for some people or some situations. And then the last thing I was getting is not going to resonate for all of you. So again, remember to only take it if it feels right. I was hearing, I'll always come back to you, Virgo. We'll always come back together. It's always you that I come back to, Virgo. So some of you are in separation from somebody currently, or you're going to be separated from somebody in the near future. And I'm getting that the separation may last two weeks, it may last one month, but I'm hearing no longer than six months will you be separated from this person. So I'm getting that some of you are in separation and Spirit wants you to know that the two of you are in separation for your highest good. It's good for the both of you because you need to grow, heal, and evolve on your own. And then you will come back together at some point. And I was also getting that distance makes the heart grow fonder. So some of you, you need distance or you need separation from somebody so that you can make the heart grow fonder so that you can increase the love vibration between the two of you. And some of you need to know that there is an upcoming separation, but you don't need to worry about it or stress about it because distance makes the heart grow fonder and because the message I was getting is I'll always come back to you, Virgo. So the separation that's coming for some of you, you don't need to worry about it. And again, I feel like that's for some of you who already know, like maybe you have a trip planned or maybe your person is going on some sort of trip or you can just intuitively feel that the two of you are going to be separated in the near future and Spirit is saying it's good for the both of you. I'm also getting it's good for the both of you because if you don't separate now, there will be an attachment formed and I feel like neither of you want an attachment, but right now, if you two don't separate, there will be some, sort, some form of attachment and attachment is not love. So you two need to separate to heal, grow, and evolve separately and to make the heart grow fonder. And then you will come back together, even stronger, even better, with even more love, okay? Water sign could be significant, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That could be the person you're in separation with or you're going to be separating from in the near future. And I feel like the advice is really for you to just be independent, to have fun, to explore, to adventure, to see new things, you'll be fine. Okay, the separation is going to be good for the both of you or the separation that's currently going on is good for the both of you. The message I was getting is I'll always come back to you, Virgo. Okay, your card for this reading is the High Priestess. This is your overall energy. This is the energy that you're in. So trust your intuition 
right now because your intuition is spot on. You are very accurate. You're so accurate that it's scary. Some of you might be doing readings for other people and they're letting you know just how accurate the reading is. It's like there's no possible way you could have known something or there's no possible way you could have figured something out, but you did. And you said that something was going to happen for somebody or you said that you saw something for someone and they're like, wow, how did you know that? You're so accurate, that's so spot on. That's the energy that Virgo's in right now, being very accurate, intuition being spot on. And I'm also skidding this energy that some of you, this is either the energy you're in right now or the energy that you're being advised to be in, is to go where you feel like the energy is reciprocated and pour your time, your energy, your wisdom, etc., into what reciprocates your energy. The Virgo energy that I was picking up on was like Virgo's like, I'm only going where the energy is reciprocated and where I feel like the energy is reciprocated. I'm no longer receiving breadcrumbs. I'm no longer accepting breadcrumbs. I'm no longer giving to people places and things that don't give back to me. For some of you, it's monetarily. Maybe you put in a lot of work or you put in a lot of effort or maybe you even put a lot of your own money into something and you're not seeing a return on the investment or somebody's just not paying you for your services, for your work, or they're not willing to, so you're pulling yourself back from that. But it doesn't just have to be money because everything is energy. So I'm getting that you're just no longer giving your time, your energy, your money, et cetera, to people, places, and things that don't reciprocate or don't even try to reciprocate, right? Okay, so let's see what else is coming out in the cards for you, Virgo. Yeah, temperance. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. The temperance card is your first card. I'm hearing let the world do its magic or let the universe do its magic. For some of you, the advice is to get out of your own way or to get out of your head. The temperance card is here, so you're fine. Everything's going to be fine. The angels have got it. Your guides have got it. The universe has got it, but they do need you to get out of your own way or to get out of your own head. But temperance card to me means everything is going to be fine. You're just being asked to stay committed to the path. Stay, stay committed to the path that you chose. Stay committed to your faith. Stay committed to whatever you believe in. This temperance card is kind of telling me, oh my God, you have the justice card also. Wow. So I'll get to that in a second. But this temperance card is kind of telling me that there may be some distractions around you or there may be some temptation around you or there may be some not so good people or energies around you that are trying to bait you out of the path that you've chosen or they're trying to get you to not believe in something or to not believe in yourself. Don't listen to them. Everything's gonna be fine. Also, you're not crazy. Someone needs to hear that, you're not crazy. Somebody may have called you crazy or some of you might be feeling like you're crazy. I'm here to tell you you're not crazy. Your intuition is spot on. Some of you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening or you're going through another spiritual awakening. You're not crazy. You're just connecting with your higher self and you're connecting with higher realms, higher frequencies. Yeah. Some people can only see the 3D the third dimension because that's what we live in so some people only see and believe in the third dimension but there's the first dimension the second dimension fourth dimension fifth dimension so on and so forth and i'm getting that you are somebody who can see multiple dimensions or you're like a multi-dimensional being you can see hear smell etc different dimensions and you try to talk to this about you try to talk to people about this or you try to like make sense of it and people think that you're crazy or you think that you're crazy. No, you're just connected to multiple dimensions. You are a multidimensional being with multidimensional thinking. Okay, but everything's going to be fine. Don't let the distractions or the temptation or the toxic, evil, negative energy get you down. Everything's going to be fine. Some of you, though, you do just need to kind of like surrender, pull back, get out of your own way, allow the universe to step in. Allow your angels, your ancestors, your guides to step in and everything will be fine. We're seeing the justice card, which is another clarifier that everything is going to be fine. The justice card is all about equality, fairness, balance, the best decision being made for your highest good and for the highest good of everybody around you. So temperance and justice being the two cards that I pulled for you is amazing. 
it's just con confirming like everything's going to be fine. Right now, it looks like the universe is restoring balance in Virgo's life and restoring, restoring balance in the lives of people around you and the people closest to you. I'm getting something about karma. Yeah, we're seeing the Ace of Pentacles. So your karma is going to be to excel, to grow, to expand. For some of you, your karma is to get a new home or to get your own home this year, or at least the feeling of home and safety and security. Some of you, you haven't had that in a while, so you're going to, that's your karma. For some of you, your karma is to get a new job, to get a better paying job, to make more money, to have access to more money, something like that. That's what I'm seeing is your karma. But I am getting that there are other people around you who may be receiving karma in a not so good way, but that's just because of the energy that they put out, right? What you give is what you get. What you put out is what comes back to you. And I feel like Virgo, despite your hardships, despite your battles, despite everything, you still have maintained some good. You still try every day to be a good person and to put good out into the world and to help people and to inspire people and to be a support system and to be a healer. And so that energy is coming back to you. I'm hearing trying is enough. Trying is succeeding. There's so many people out there who don't even try. There's so many people who don't put in any effort, who don't work on themselves, who don't care who spread misinformation, who lie, who are conniving, who steal, who cheat, etc. And you're not one of those people. So that's why good things are happening to you, or that's why good things are going to happen to you this year in 2024. Ace of Pentacles is just giving me this yearly energy. So some of you might be like thinking about your upcoming year, or maybe you're wondering like what's coming in for me in 2024, what's going on, yeah. Some of you might be planning for the year ahead. Plan to receive some sort of good karma or plan to receive more money, more clients, things like that, more resources, more information. I'm also getting something about networking and making like connections with people. I feel like you're finally re making real connections with people or you're finally ready to make real connections with people, like face-to-face, -face, in the physical world, in the tangible 3D realm you're actually meeting people you're actually talking to people engaging with them but it's like a connection yeah you're forming connections with people or you're going to be very soon but these are like real genuine connections because virgo is in this energy right now of like not giving to people places and things who are not reciprocating so these people are reciprocating your energy or they're paying you for your time and your energy and that works for you for some of you Okay. The karma of the other people, Spirit wants me to get a card for that, so we will. Spirit wants you to know what their karma is. Mm, the Empress and the Six of Cups. So for some, it looks like the karma is that they're going to have to repeat some cycles. They're going to have to go backwards, or it's going to feel like they're moving backwards in life. That's their karma is to go backwards or to go back and relearn some sort of lesson. And I'm getting that for some of them, it's going to be learning like childhood wounds, specifically that was passed down from their mother or from teachers or from previous bosses who took advantage of them or who taught them how to act this way. Because for some, some I'm getting this message that they're going to have to repeat lessons from their childhood to see how they were mistreated by their parents or by their mother specifically. And they're going to have to learn that they chose to repeat that pattern onto you and onto others. They took whatever their mom or their parent did to them, they internalized it, they saw that as fact, as truth, and so they tried to do that to everybody else too. Or they were just so hurt from their childhood that instead of healing it and working through it and taking accountability, they chose to project it onto everybody else or they chose to project the anger, the fear, the hurt, the pain onto you or everybody else around them. So now the universe is coming in to balance the scales to kind of remove this energy from your life to bless you and to make these people repeat some sort of cycle or repeat some sort of lesson until they learn. I'm hearing Saturn is here. Saturn is favoring you. Saturn is blessing you. 
you've learned some sort of lesson, so you're going to be receiving blessings. You're going to be receiving new beginnings, receiving money, receiving new pathways, receiving expansion, all for you. But Saturn is going to make you learn the lesson until you learn the lesson. And that's what these people are going to have to be facing with their karma. They're going to have to learn the lessons that they've been suppressing and that they've been projecting onto you and onto others. And for some, they're going to see that it's something that's been passed down from generation to generation. Like there's something in their DNA that they're going to have to work through. And I don't know how to really tap, tap into that, so I'm not going to. But I have been picking up that message that there's something here about like DNA that's significant and you're altering your DNA or you're changing your DNA this year. There's something about you changing your DNA because you've learned some sort of lesson, you've healed from some sort of generational trauma and other people haven't. So now they're going to have to this year, that's a part of their karma is to heal their own generational trauma and to heal from whatever is in their DNA, from whatever has been passed down to them. But again, I don't really know what spirit's saying with that, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Something about DNA is significant. Some of you might work with science or in the medical field, or DNA could be significant. That could also be initials. D, N, and A could be somebody's initials. First, middle, or last. All right, Virgo, let's get you one last card. I'm gonna do my best to get you another reading out in the next couple of days, maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. Um, and then I'm going on vacation for a couple of weeks. So if you don't see me, I'm on vacation, taking a little break, pouring into myself, getting away, which some of you, you may need that too. I think we did a reading recently talking about Virgo just needs a getaway. So either that's coming up for you or you're planning it or you need to plan some sort of getaway. Even if it's just like a day trip, if you can't do something more than a day, but if you can try to do like a weekend or a week or two weeks, whatever works for you, whatever fits into your budget, whatever is best for you. But I'm taking spirits advice and I'm going on a little getaway and I'm stepping out of the way and I'm allowing the universe to kind of take over and take care of things while I step away and enjoy myself and replenish and rejuvenate and refuel and refill my own cup. So that could be advice for some of you as well. Last card, please, for Virgo. Yeah. Look at the bigger picture. Some of you, the advice is to, like, zoom out, to not get so lost in the details or to not get so focused on the current circumstances because anything can change, anything can happen. And for some of you, I'm getting this, like, overnight energy the difference one day can make. We can be living in this like torment or this self-sabotage energy or this fear or this lack for years even for so long. And then all of a sudden something happens, something changes overnight. And then we're in a completely new reality where we're much more positive and we're much more excited and we can see that there's so much on the horizon for us. So. I'm hearing the difference a day makes or the difference 24 hours makes. So some of you, there is some sort of like shift happening within 24 hours for you, or there's going to be one day that turns things around for Virgo, if that resonates for you. But overall, this card says, look at the bigger picture. And it's further clarifying what I was talking about of just kind of like getting out of your own way or getting out of the universe's way, spirit's way to kind of let them do whatever they need to do. So look at the bigger picture, pull back, and know that you're going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay for you, Virgo. Either way, you're going to be fine. No matter what, you're going to be fine. Okay? And again, that first message I was getting, don't worry, you'll be done before anyone notices, or don't worry, it'll be over before anyone notices. So no one's even going to notice, or no one's even going to know for some of you. Some of you, you're trying to keep something to yourself or you're trying to work through something on your own. Spirit's saying, don't worry, nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to notice. Nobody's going to figure it out. You're going to be fine. Last message I'm getting is you have time. Some of you, you need to know that. You need to hear that. You have time. And I'm also getting something about time slowing down for you. You may be noticing time is slowing down or you're going to notice like time stands still. There's going to be like a moment Maybe in nature, for some of you that's specific, but it doesn't have to be in nature. I'm just getting like some of you are going to have a moment of stillness or a moment of 
time standing still. And this is going to be confirmation of what I'm saying. You have time. Time is slowing down for you. Okay? Hopefully this helped. Sending you love always, Virgo. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. If you feel called to tip or donate, information's in the description box down below. Please don't forget to hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. But that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Bye.